Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Devotional Monday. My name is Ken Berkey and yesterday the topic was gratitude and I'd like to carry this topic of, of, of gratitude throughout the week. That as individuals, that as families, as part of a Live 58 Church, that we just practice the attitude of gratitude. We practice it in ways that are is not only good for us, proven emotionally, physically, and spiritually, we are better we are healthier when we are grateful, but also that we would share our gratitude with others because it affects, it affects others. I said this yesterday, but when you walk into a room and someone's angry, that anger kind of rubs off. You walk into a room and people are fear, fearful, people that kind of rubs off. But when you walk into a room full of gratitude, that rubs off too. We can truly set the tone set the attitude of people around us just by being grateful. I was talking to a gentleman in my home group yesterday and he, during our discussion, he said, you know, our world, especially our Western culture, wants us to be dissatisfied so that we will purchase something else. Our culture will drag us down where we compare and we look and we're not happy. The mindfulness of every day deciding to be grateful changes all of that. There's also something else where the Apostle Paul said, be thankful in all things. He doesn't say be thankful that all things have happened to us, but God works together all things for good for those who trust him. And one of the ladies in my home group yesterday said, you know, I look back at my childhood and it was tough and it was rough. And she says, I used to resent it. She says, I've let that go. And I'm thankful for my childhood, that toughness, because I've discovered God through that. I've discovered his grace. And she says, I think I'm more thankful for his grace because of what he took me out of. She, says, she said, also, I think I'm more empathetic for towards others who are going through tough times now. Gratitude is one of the most powerful forces in the world because it comes from God. And as I said yesterday, it is the deepest form of faith. So let me close with this. Let me close with just a little poem I wrote. Uh, this was right as COVID was starting and I was a little grumpy and I was feeling sorry for myself and I was looking at all the negatives and I just sat down and I was reminded in Psalm 118 to give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. So today I'm grateful for things that were memories that are endured, friendships secured. I'm grateful for things that are like healing scars and shooting stars. I'm grateful for things that will be. Sadness will be set free. We get to point the refugee towards a life-saving shade tree. I'm grateful for the past. Laughter's unsurpassed, courage unabashed, purpose recast. But I'm grateful for the present, for honest ascents, for time to reinvent, to rhymes of ascent. I'm grateful for the future, rediscovering humor, priorities, my priorities are fewer, my wounds finding suture. Friends, I'm grateful for yesterday, but it's a place we can't stay. I'm grateful for today because grace is my way. And I'm grateful for tomorrow where there, where, where there will be no more pain and no more sorrow. God bless you. I pray for you this week. Follow us on social media. Get ready for next week. If you want to join a home group, go to the contact list and uh, on our website, Live 58 Church. Just say, I want to be a part of a home group as we're gathering all across this region as we celebrate and are thankful for God's amazing grace. I'll post that poem tomorrow on our blog. Uh, again, follow us for Worship Wednesday and uh, we'll stay in contact. God bless you. Have an amazing, amazing week.